Um, you may like to get in touch with us if you can help us out. Uh, we have a celestial feel to the programme tonight, but none of us actually know what that is. We don't know if it's a galaxy, the Milky Way. It's very pretty. Chocolate bar of another description. But I'm sure <laughs> that someone out there will be able to tell us. Yeah. So uh, email in if you do know nwt at bbc.co.uk. Please, because no one's got a clue. The, but we've, the reason that we've got it there <laughs> is because the famous Jodrell Bank Observatory is preparing to take centre stage on national television in just over an hour as it hosts BBC's, BBC Two's Stargazing Live programme. Yeah, millions will be tuning in to see presenters Professor Brian Cox and Dara O'Brien explain the wonders of the night sky. I bet they know what that is. And I'll Reporter Peter Marshall joins us from Jodrell Bank now. Good evening, Peter. Yes, good evening. It doesn't matter how many times you see it, the Lovell telescope close up is simply stunning. It takes your breath away. Now, normally about 40 people work here at the, uh, at the telescope. They're gathering radio waves from around the universe. Tonight it's slightly different. 80 teletypes have moved in. Their job to explain the wonders of the night sky to watching millions on television. I have to say it's quite an operation. Take a look at this. It's Jodrell Bank, but not as we normally know it. Tonight, TV's in town, and stargazing live takes technology, lots of it. Is that better, one, two, three? Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Behind presenters Professor Brian Cox and Dara O'Brien is a team of techies to make their live broadcast run smoothly. It's a really big mixture of technical people, people who understand science, people who understand live pro programming, people from the sky at night, and then people who understand telescopes and cameras we're using a night vision camera called the starlight camera which is the only one in the world the main set has been built around the original 1957 control room panel from here they control nine radio telescopes including the massive Lovell dish it's absolutely not more disruption that's worth it's it's, it's great I mean uh, yeah, obviously there's a, there's a lot more people here than there normally would be. Um, there normally isn't a TV studio in our control room here. It's great for Jodrell Bank to be on, you know, on national TV, four million viewers. Um, and I think more than anything, it's great for the science. Are we almost set up there with the coordinates? All set up and ready exactly. to go. So just just press press the new series of Stargazing Live will be watched by millions, from complete astronomy beginners to those with a lifelong passion for space. I did kind of become a professional astronomer, you know, but I'm still an amateur at heart, you know, because it's the spectacle and the wonder and the awe. There is a universe out there, an absolutely vast, almost incomprehensible complexity, and we need to know, we need to know about it. Over the following three nights, the stargazing team will look at Mars, the history of the universe, asteroids and comets. The final frontier, well and truly explored. Well, join me later here. We'll have an exclusive interview with Professor Brian Cox and Dara O'Brien, and we'll find out why the Isle of Man is one of the best places in the northwest if you want to see a good, clear view of the night sky. Until then, it's back to the studio. Great. Thank you very much, Peter. We'll see you in a...